Here on the line, I have uh, absolute Ricky Starks from AEW. Let me tell you, this guy right here, been watching him for quite some time, and um, it's absolutely amazing to see all that you're accomplishing. And you're actually part of AEW's extravaganza that they have going on here in the Chicagoland area. There's Dynamite, there's Rampage, and then Sunday, All Out. And that's really a big deal because you're going to be facing Powerhouse Hobbs that night. And um, that's definitely a match I am looking forward to. So, Ricky, I guess yeah. off the bat, how does it feel to be the longest reigning FTW champion in history? Uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty cool feeling to have. Um, all that I hope that's, you know, respected moving forward with the, with the historians of our company. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, it, I, you know, it is pretty cool to, to have. Uh, that type of title um, in terms of like the longest reigning FTW champion. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you know, it, there's a lot more work to be done beyond that, you know? Oh, for sure. So um, there's actually work that's going to be done um, on Sunday. You know, you're part of this, the big pay-per-view all out and um, it's going to be very exciting. Now there's vets on the card like Brian Danielson, Chris Jericho. And yeah. so what do you think that you need to do? in your match with Powerhouse Hobbs to get people talking about your match, not only, you know, during the pay-per-view, but even after. Uh, I don't think I have to do anything per se. I think I did enough of that and got people invested into that match uh, after, you know, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really look at the card and say, how can I um, outdo this person or that person? Because, I think you kind of box yourself in when you approach things that way. And, and too, like, you know, you kind of set yourself up for failure sometimes doing it that way. Um, I will tell you this, the animosity that I have for Hobbs and, and what has happened leading up to this point, I think has done enough to garner um, the interest and the buzz. And I think afterwards, uh, not expecting to be the most talked about match to be honest with you because you know that's just they have a, a chock full pay-per-view of surprises and things like that but mm-hmm. um i do fully expect to walk away with the respect uh either you have either you have found a newfound respect for ricky or um you know you you just added more to that that bucket so i'm really looking forward to it think it's going to be a great match either way and i'm just ready to get my hands on Hobbs. if we're being frank yeah i can only imagine yeah after watching um you know dynamite last week and wow let me tell you i mean you know how to talk and you, you have a lot of passion and emotion and that that comes through and i think that's why you're connecting with everyone because everybody sees it you know i mean you, you've mm-hmm. had a journey to, to get where you are you know obviously and um, you've, you've had a lot of different matches. You've done street fights. You've done ladder matches and things like that. Is, yeah. there, is there any type of match, you know, when we're talking about maybe the unconventional matches, is there any particular match that you like more than the other? Ooh. You know what? Um, that is that's, – that's a good question. Right now, no. Well, no, you know what? I, I really like street fight matches. Okay. Um, so street fight matches are really cool, just because I like to fight. Um, but <laughs> that, that would, yeah, that would probably be the best, like the the first match I can think of off the top of my head. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm here with Absolute yeah. Ricky Starks. Uh, make sure that you're following Ricky on social media on Instagram. Starky Baby is where you'll find Ricky, yeah. and on Twitter, Starkman Jones. So I, yeah. I like it. I like the two different handles there. It, it definitely. Um, it fits your personality, man. You you have you have you have you're such a personality, and you have you know so much going on um, with that. So it's nice that you have two different handles to kind of, I guess maybe give you two different, two different personas, so to speak, right? Right. Yeah. You know those. The, I I can't remember exactly how uh, I came up with it, but um, I didn't realize at the time that you know having two different handles would be somewhat of an issue for people but hey here we are now <laughs> you're just keeping them on their toes that's what you do yeah exactly <laughs> exactly come on perfect so ricky um 
you know what? I've been talking a lot about like your your mic skills and and your wrestling skills are right there with it, you know, as well. You're you're definitely the total package. Um, but you know, kind of going back to the the mic skills and speaking, we've had the honor of hearing you do commentary before. And is that something that we might see in the near future again? Something I mean, uh, you know, I really can't say. I, I think I've moved past doing the commentary stuff. Okay. Um, I think I think it's been long overdue to – essentially what I'm saying is I've fought really hard to um, get back in the ring and, you know, be presented as such and not be thought of, well, he's on commentary, so he must be hurt or he must be retiring. Right. Um, it's very hurtful right. to, to hear those comments. And it's not – it's not people's fault. It's just how things were presented. Um, so I, I want to move away as far as where as I can from that and be more focused on the fact that I am um, not an up and coming star. I, I really do hate that. Yeah. But I am the star of now, you know, I'm the star of as, as we move forward and I deserve and I deserve the same amount of respect and opportunities as you give some of these people who are actually less of a talent than I am. So um, you know, yeah, I think I think the commentary stuff is done for me. Okay. No, I understand that. I mean, I, I guess what happens, you know, at that point in time is people just start to see you as a mouthpiece. And, you know, like I said, you, you're great speaking, but you're, you also can prove yourself in the ring. You, you, said, you said you like to fight. So, I mean, you're definitely the right. total package as far as, as, as that's concerned. So it's all good stuff. Thank you. Yeah, no, absolutely. Don't get me wrong, I love the commentary stuff. The commentary stuff was fun, but, yeah. you know, like most things in life, it, there's a, you got to move on from it. For sure, for sure. So what, what it, so FTW champion, you know, I, I think that's something that's, um, you know, kind of behind you, like right now. Um, what other yeah. type of titles are you, are you looking at um, here in the future? Gun and Force. Well, you know, Obviously, TNT title is, is is fresh on my mind, mm -hmm. um, and then of course the uh, the AEW World Titles are the two off the top of my head that I am very keen on. Uh, and with that, um, you know, I think I have proven myself tenfold to be somewhat of a worthy competitor for both titles right now. Actually, absolutely. Absolute Ricky Starks here on the line with me. Make sure that you check out Ricky on all of his social media. Starky Baby on Instagram, on Twitter, Starkman yeah. Jones. And he's part of all the good stuff that's bringing um, AEW into town this week. And if you want to check them out live, you need to do it. I'm telling you, seeing wrestling live, there is nothing like it. Check out AEWTicks.com to secure your tickets. That's really the best way to go about yeah. it. Now, Ricky, uh, QT Marshall and the factory, they've been all in your business. And um, with, the, sure. with the way that uh, Team Taz has dissolved and stuff like that, you're kind of outnumbered. So do you have anybody who's kind of watching your back for you? You know, unfortunately, I don't. And that's kind of my whole MO, you know. If no one's going to – I'm always used to going to bat for myself and defending myself and standing up for myself. So um, I'm not saying that I'm a lone wolf, but, uh, you know, as it stands right now, I don't really have anyone in my corner, so to speak. Um, and that's okay because, they, you know, that's, they, I'm not foreign to that whole concept. So sadly, I don't have anyone in my, my corner, but I feel like I can take pretty much all of them dudes on by myself anyways. I don't need the help as uh, Hobbs does, you know. Right, right. <laughs> so while you're in Chicago, is there anything that you're looking forward to do outside of um, doing some oh, yeah. wrestling? I'm trying to go to this the, the Interactive Prince Museum, actually. There's an Interactive Prince Museum. Yeah. I went to the Prince Museum when we went to Minneapolis. But now there's, a, there's another one. There's an Interactive one that I'm really, um, I, I want to go to and check out. So if there's anyone listening that may have a potential hookup, let me know. But otherwise, uh, that's the biggest one. Okay. I, I love Chicago. Um, it's really, really fun place to, to come and visit. And um, finally, I have something to have like 
you know, to look forward to in terms of like, oh, I'm going to go do this. So that, that's on the top of my list is that, that interactive French museum. Okay. Well, I'm going to see if I can pull some strings for you, man. All right. Hell yeah. Okay. That, I'm, I'm not saying that I have a lot of pull. I mean, but I'll, I'll definitely go out on a limb and hey, see what I can do for you. Yeah. Yeah. The worst they can You're tell right. me is no. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ricky, hey, I am looking forward um, to this week here, everything that um, AEW has going on. Definitely looking forward to your match with Powerhouse Hobbs. I'm telling you, I think it's going to bring the house down. So, um, like you said, it is great to see you finally, um, you know, getting getting the res- respect that you deserve, man. And it's going to continue. I know it. I know it for sure. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate um, you, Ricky. You know, long time coming. Yeah, man, this was great. Yeah, so make sure everybody, if you're out there, get tickets to see AEW. They're in town for three shows. You can catch one of them. I'm telling you, this is where you need to be. AEWTix.com is where you can get tickets for Dynamite, Rampage. And I'm not sure if they have any left for All Out, but you might want to check and see. Maybe there's a few that are still available. So, Absolute Ricky Starks, I appreciate your time so much, man. And best of luck to you. And once again, Thank you for all you do, man. I'm, I'm telling you, entertaining. When, when you come on the TV, I know right away that I'm going to be entertained. <laughs> That's exactly what I want. That's all I want. Perfect. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much.